Hi friends, uh, in this session uh, we are discussing uh, pentagonal prism which is inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Uh, last two uh, sessions we discussed uh, pentagonal prism corner is on HP, base edge is on HP and at the same time the axis is inclined to HP. Now here the axis is inclined to VP that is the major change. And if you wish to see those videos, you can check the uh, link of that problem in the description box. Now you can read the question. A pentagonal prism of base side 30 mm and 65 mm long lying on one of its longer edges on HP. One of its longer edges on HP with one rectangular face perpendicular to HP such that axis makes 60 degree with VP. Uh, so here the axis is makes 60 degree with VP at the same time one of the longer edges on HP while the longer edges on HP one rectangular face of that pentagonal prism must be perpendicular to HP draw the projections of the prism. Now we have to consider the entire solid then only we can say the longer edge is on HP. If the longer edge is on HP, we will check what is the position of the pentagon. Okay. Now, see this is the longer edge. See 2P is the longer edge which is lying on HP. Okay. Longer edge is on HP. At the same time, we have to uh, obey the condition rectangular face perpendicular to HP. Here, this 4, 2, 3, C, D. You can verify this rectangle. 4, 3, C, D is the rectangle which is perpendicular to H, P. This rectangle the surface is perpendicular to H, P. And also this 2, P is the longer edge which is lying on H, P. So from this I can clearly say what is my front view. If you see from here, the front view, what is the front view here? You can see one side of the pentagon clearly by touching one corner is on xy reference line so what is the uh, front view so this is our front view of the pentagon this is what uh, we have to start uh, we have to start by drawing the position of pentagon as that one of the corner touching on hp due to longer edges on hp because the from the corner only longer edges are joining the another uh, side of the pentagon okay so with this we will move on to the uh, solution x y and uh, we know the position of pentagon one corner which is uh, touching on x y and what is the side of base side is 30 mm and then uh, you can uh, give name for all the corners one pentagon will be visible for us in the front view one pentagon is invisible that's why a b c d is visible one two five uh, one two three four five pentagon is invisible from the front view and similar procedure as we did for all the previous two problems you can extend the projectors from all the respective corners then now uh, you can join this uh, base of this pentagonal prism then what is the axis height axis height here it is 65 mm long so longer edge length is 65 mm you can extend the longer edges from all the corners and complete the uh, top view and then axis for axis before going to axis you can give a name for all the uh, corners visible edges and being front view so you are uh, an observer is standing here okay for completing the top view an observer is standing here so observer can see this one five and four 2 and 3 will be invisible for us. So this is 1. Next is uh, 5. 5 is invisible. Upper 2 is invisible. That should be denoted in the bracket. Then 4 is visible. 3 is invisible. Similarly for the uh, top face of the uh, pentagon. Top face is A, B, C, D, E. So A, E, D will be visible. P and C is invisible. That should be denoted in the bracket. Okay. Then for axis you can uh, extend a projector to the midpoint of CDH then identify the midpoint of this uh, diagonal and which from this you can extend the projector complete the axis. Okay. After the completion of axis 
now axis has to be uh, make an angle of uh, 60 degree with vp 60 degree with vp below xy you can take any point on the xy mark 60 degree inclination line and without any specific length it should be a thin line so on this thin line you can draw the axis so before that uh, make sure that while drawing this uh, top view this top view must not touches this xy reference line okay this is the condition it's clearly given only the uh, long, while longer edge is on hp front view is on xy uh, on xy or on hp plane so make sure that this top view should not touches this xy reference line now what i did is you measure the distance of uh, 1 to 4 this 1 to 4 and if it is say for an example if it is uh, 40 mm you can take the midpoint as 20 here uh, 20 and another 20 on the right side after uh, job drawing this edge base now then you can draw the axis length as 65 then complete all the respective longer edges okay this is uh, just we are going to reproduce the same uh, top view here by the uh, inclination of axis as 60 degree okay after the completion of uh, this top view more or less similar procedure now we have to extend the projectors from this top view and from this front view so this corner one and here also it is one dash meeting at this point you can make mark as a one one dash then here it is two here this is two dash here so we can say it is two one dash then you can extend the projectors from three and here also uh, three in the top view both are meeting at this point three one dash next is uh, four also on the same projector here in the front view here it is four dash so you can extend the projectors and finally you can conclude this is uh, four one dash what about five this is already we extended the projectors for two dash here it is five dash both meeting at this point Five one dash. This is the uh, base of base pentagon. Now for top face of the pentagon A B C D E. Similarly, you do the same procedure. Extend the projectors from all the corners from this top view as well as from this front view. So A and here it is A dash. Both meeting at this point A one dash. Then you can extend the projectors from B and E. And this is uh, here it is B dash. B dash is here. So this is B one dash this is uh, e e dash is here so this is e1 dash so you can mark uh, b1 dash as well as e1 dash afterwards extend the projectors from cd here it is c1 dash next one is d dash is here so this is d1 dash finally e1 dash okay now all the uh, corners of bottom face as well as top face pentagon is marked now the procedure is similar what we supposed to do is join the boundaries of this view by thick lines boundaries of this front view by thick lines what are all the boundaries 1 dash 5 1 dash 1 1 dash 5 1 dash 1 1 dash 2 1 dash then 2 1 dash b 1 dash then b 1 dash c 1 dash c 1 dash d 1 dash d 1 dash e 1 dash e 1 dash 5 1 dash these are all the boundaries of the this front view okay afterwards if an observer is standing here this entire pentagon can be seen in the front view if an observer is standing here he can able to see this a b c d e pentagon so you can complete this a b c d e pentagon by thick lines a a1 e1 and a1 b1 dash so now it is completed what about the bottom face of the pentagon here the bottom face of the pentagon is uh, 1 2 3 4 5 this 3 4 is is the if you check here this is the uh, bottom base bottom edge of the base bottom edge of the base which is nearer to x y is uh, 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 similarly 3 4 if you are seeing from here okay if an observer is standing here 3 4 is invisible it has to be denoted in the bracket 3 1 dash 4 1 dash being invisible it should be denoted by means of hidden lines 
similarly 2 dash 2 1 dash 3 1 dash this is the bottom of base bottom edge of the base 2 3 and what about 4 5 here also it is invisible from here so 4 1 dash 5 1 dash also invisible and now the pentagon is completed uh, bottom face top face pentagon is completed then check for long ranges uh, this 1 1 a 1 will be visible for us so we can join this 1 1 a 1 dash as by means of thick lines what about this uh, c d nothing but uh, 3 c 4 d 3 c 4 d if you are standing here this longer edge may not be visible for us this longer edge is not visible for us that's why we can mark this 4 1 d 1 dash has uh, hidden lines similarly 3 1 this is also lies on the same longer edge so 3 1 c 1 is invisible 3 1 c 1 is invisible for us okay and this a1 dash uh, 1 1 dash a1 dash has to be marked by means of uh, thick lines because it is visible it is missed here 1 1 dash a1 dash is visible because if an observer is standing here you can able to see this longer edge 1 1 1 a so you can draw by means of continuous thick lines 1 1 dash a1 dash as the visible edges okay 